Good morning. Welcome to class 9 ICSE Physics. And now we continue with our upthrust Archimedes principle and flotation. Part 3 video this is. And we are coming now to flotation. Flotation begins with the concept of flotation. When the body floats, what is happening? The weight of the body which acts vertically downwards, it is going to be supported by the upward force which is the which is the upthrust. So the principle of flotation we talk about the weight of the floating body is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the immersed part of the body. Now the weight of the fluid displaced by the immersed part of the body is also the upthrust. In other words, the weight of the floating body is equal to the upthrust. Our first numerical under this is to derive the formula that density of solid upon density of liquid is equal to the volume immersed upon the total volume. Now for a floating body, the weight of the floating body is equal to the upthrust in the liquid in which it is immersed. So weight of the floating body is going to be V rho G but that will be volume of the solid multiplied by the density of the solid multiplied by the gravitational acceleration which is equal to upthrust in the liquid will be V rho G which is again volume but in this case it will be volume of the liquid that is displaced so we will write VL multiplied by density rho is density of the liquid multiplied by G at a given place the gravitational acceleration being same gets cancelled and we will have rho S upon rho L and that becomes equal to VL upon VS now the density of solid upon density of liquid is going to be now density of solid upon density of liquid is going to be volume of the liquid displaced. Now the volume of the liquid displaced depends upon how much part of the body is immersed. So that becomes your volume immersed. And upon volume of the solid becomes your total volume and therefore you will have rho s upon rho l is equal to the volume immersed upon total volume of the solid which is floating and that is our answer. Let us come to the second numerical. It reads a wooden block floats with two fifths of its volume above the surface of water. Find its density in SI unit and all they have done is you have been given the density of water. Now we are going to use the formula which we derived in question number one. For that we will have to make a few assumptions. We will say let the volume of block equal to V centimeter cube. Therefore, volume above water is going to be two fifth of V centimeter cube. And therefore, volume immersed that is below water the volume immersed in water is going to be equal to 1 minus 2 fifth means 3 fifth V centimeter cube. Now we will use our formula the density of solid in this case it is density of block 
upon the liquid is density of water and that is equal to our formula said volume immersed upon total volume and so we have volume of the block upon volume of water automatically gives you rd of the block and that is equal to volume immersed is 3 fifth v centimeter cube upon total is v centimeter cube rearranging the terms you will have 3 fifth v multiplied by 1 upon v as the centimeter cube gets cancelled and you will have rd of block is 3 fifth which is 0 0.6 but they are asking you density in SI. So for density in SI, you will have Rd multiplied by 1000 kg per meter cube. You know this conversion factor. So it is 0 0.6 into 1000 kg per meter cube that gives us 600 kg per meter cube and that is our answer. Now we come to the last question in this video. We have question 3 reading. Density of ice is 0.9 gram per centimeter cube and that of sea water is 1.1 gram per centimeter cube. What fraction of ice will show above the surface of the sea water? You have been given the two densities, the density of ice and the density of sea water. So, let us use the same formula that we have used earlier. We have density of ice upon density of sea water in this case and that is going to be equal to the volume immersed upon total volume. Volume of ice is 0.9 gram per centimeter cube and the density of sea water is 1.1 gram per centimeter cube. So that is equal to volume immersed upon total volume. And so the units will get cancelled and you will have 9 upon 11. 9 upon 11 will be equal to volume immersed upon total volume and so you will have volume immersed will be equal to bring total volume here this side so it will be 9 11 of the total volume now the volume immersed is going to be below the surface of water but we are expected to find the fraction above the surface of the water so you will say volume above surface of sea water and that is going to be equal to 1 minus 9 upon 11 means 2 11th of the total volume and therefore fraction above the surface is going to be 2 11th of total volume and that is our answer so I'm sure you will be able to handle the other numericals based on 
principle of rotation. Thank you for watching.